Chelsea and Kendra and today we're going to be doing our must-have drugstore products for you guys and we're going to be mentioning everything from hair products, body care, and makeup. Uh huh. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Oh and skincare. Yes. And Kelsey and I were super excited to do this video because we love talking about products in general especially products that help you save your coins. So we're just going to hop right into it before this video is too too long. Okay, so the first product that we're going to talk about is from Garnier. This is the Whole Blend Smoothing Leave-In Conditioner. Uh -huh. And Kendra and I just started using this about a week ago. And we wanted to mention it in this video for you guys because it's super inexpensive. Yes. And it makes your curls super defined. Yes, and so soft and moisturized. Uh -huh. They have a few of these like in the Whole Blend's line. But this kind is the coconut oil and cocoa butter one. Yeah. It's so, so nice. It smells amazing. And it says it deeply nourishes, smooths, and softens. And it's also paraben free, so that's also good. So I love that they came out with this whole blend line because it's like an extension of the Garnier line and they're catering more to curly hair. Mm -hmm. So super inexpensive, love the way it smells. And this doesn't dry crunchy, it dries really, really soft. soft. Yeah. That's my favorite part about this product because some products that help tame the frizz for my curls make it like too, too like crunchy looking. And almost leave like a little bit of a residue. Yes, but mm -hmm. this makes it so soft and defined. So it's like best of both worlds. Yeah, and if you guys are wondering, I don't have this in my hair right now. Right now I have in the Ozzy Moist, but I used this last week and this is what I had in my hair in our Chit Chat Get Ready With Us video. Uh -huh. So this is what I had in my hair. Uh -huh. And I just loved how this turned out. I was a little skeptical at first because I was like, I don't know if this is going to hold my curls by itself. By itself, mm -hmm. and it did. Because honestly, the style that I used, I used the tiniest bit. So I gave the credit to this product. Yes, you can use it alone. You don't have to use it with like a team of products like no. most of us curly girls do. <laughs> Like we're so like addicted to adding to the party when we're doing yeah. our hair. That's that like you don't need anything else with it. Yeah, you don't. But I like using other products. Just to but try like it. you said, you don't need anything else yes, with it. Yes, it's so easy. You can travel with it and just like co-wash your hair and just slap this in it. And if you put too much, it doesn't have a residue. Like Kelsey said, like mm -hmm. I can drown my hair in this. This is why this is a new bottle and my other bottle's gone. Um, I only used it twice and that's how much I used in my hair because I have so much. Oh my gosh, this is I know. like my first bottle. I know. I still have a lot left. Don't judge me. <laughs> but I'm so addicted to the stuff that I can't help but to keep putting it in. And it also says it's really good for everyday use. So it says it's gentle for everyday use. Mm -hmm. So this is the only like curly hair product we're going to mention in today's video. Just because Kendra and I can talk about curly hair products for hours mm -hmm. and we did do a couple of videos last year talking about our favorite curly hair products honestly natural hair is very high maintenance and expensive yeah the products so we wanted to mention an inexpensive product to you affordable. guys today yeah this video today is about affordable products uh -huh. so not all drugstore products but mainly like our favorite affordable drugstore yes, products all curly hair products are not affordable just because they sold at a drugstore don't mean they cheat no so the next product we both have is from the brand organics and we both have two different kinds but we do like to use these products on our straight or curly hair because yeah they work pretty well on both and the kind that I have here is the Renewing Plus Argan Oil of Morocco Weightless Healing Dry Oil. And mine is the Hydrate and Defreeze Kukui Oil Anti-Freeze Hydrating Oil. Yes. They both are super lightweight because we do use them on our curly and our straight hair. So I use this to refresh my curls. Well, not refresh, but I use this like to add moisture to and add shine. add moisture and shine. Like if I take my hair out of a pineapple, I just spray this all over and then I'm out the door. Mm -hmm. Or I'll spray this in my hair before I put it in a pineapple at night. So this mm -hmm. is that type of product. Yes. And straight hair, I usually only spray it on the ends. Mm -hmm. I don't yes. spray it up here. Uh -huh. Curly hair, we don't care. Yeah. Yeah. It's super lightweight though, so if you yeah. apply like too much, your hair won't be like greasy, greasy or anything. Yeah, that's true. So that's what I love about these like spray oils. And they smell amazing. They all smell so, so good. All of them smell mm -hmm. good. And the last hair product that I'm going to mention to you guys today is a serum. I've been using this serum for years, like the days where I was like penny pinching. When the packaging was like this. Yeah, I know. This packaging used to be so tiny. Yeah, so sure. I'm glad they made it bigger. This is the John Frieda Frizz Ease Extra Strength Serum. So you can use this on curly or straight hair and it just pretty much eliminates frizz. It's a humidity protect protectant. It's a heat protectant. It smooths, hydrates, and tames. It says to apply to wet hair, but I really don't do that. I've done that before. This can get a little bit greasy if you go thick. Yeah, this is thick. It can get greasy if you go too heavy handed with this. So one pump is all you really need for a curly or straight hair. Even though my curly hair, I can drown it in this and I'm good, but straight hair, you might want to be like careful. Minimal. Yeah. Pea size. Exactly. Pea size is perfect. But this product is so amazing. It smells so good. So good. John Frieda does their thing with their scents too. Mm -hmm. 
it's just a really you go <laughs> it's just a really good overall product the smells great and the price is even better yeah so i just love this serum so much and like i said i've been using it for years so yeah it's just a bond product that i'm still buying and it says frizz e so those of you who ask us questions about frizz yeah like we always say get something that says anti-frizz on it yeah. Frizz ease. Yeah. Something like that. And this mm -hmm. is perfect for that. Yeah. So the last hair product I have to mention is from the brand Batiste. And dry shampoo is very essential when we straighten our hair because when it gets older, yeah. when you want to stretch it and you don't feel like washing your hair yet, this is perfect. And this is the cool and crisp fresh one. I love this one the best because it smells so clean and just like the best freshest smell ever like i don't really like the fruity smelling ones just because i just like to be simple and i love this one i got this one from ulta and i forgot the price of these but you can get these at pretty much any drugstore like cbs and walgreens also this is a instant hair refresh and it's for all hair types although i do not use this in my curly hair only when i straighten my hair no. when it gets greasy yeah i feel like our curly hair is the opposite i feel like my curly hair when it needs to be washed it gets drier yes. and when my straight hair needs to be washed it, it gets, gets oily oily so uh -huh. That's yeah weird. very opposite and this says it's voted the number one favorite dry shampoo this probably because it's the most affordable <laughs> and they have so many different kinds yeah. but i highly recommend this you just like basically spread it in your hair and kind of work it into the roots with your fingers and like brush it through and your hair is like pretty much almost new again so i highly recommend this if you're trying to like stretch your hair because it's really not good to shampoo your hair too much, no matter what color you are. Even if you think you have greasy hair that's like you can fry chicken on or bacon. You do not need to wash your hair every day. Just get some dry shampoo and you're good to go. Okay, so we lied. This is the last hair product yeah. slash item we're going to mention. These are scrunchies, but these aren't any ordinary scrunchies. Uh -huh. These are our favorite scrunchies ever. We get them from Target. These are the everyday, everyday and active, active no slip grip, grip strong hold scrunchies. So these aren't like the, what's the material of the regular ones? Uh, they're not like the regular ones with the silver thing on them. But they don't even, even the ones that you're talking about, they stop putting the silver thing on them too. They're just like the regular stretchy scrunchies? Yes, yeah, but these kind of feel like rubber, rubber, but they're like a soft rounded rubber. Mm -hmm. So they don't pull the hair out when yes. you take them out. They don't tug on the hair. And they take forever to break. Like yeah. Kelsey and I, back in the day when we were wearing hair in a ponytail every day in middle school, yeah. like we went through so many scrunchies. I wish like, we had these. A week. <laughs> these would have been amazing. Yeah. <laughs> These are so, so strong. Like, if yeah. you have the thickest hair and you're trying to get your hair on a ponytail, like that sleek ponytail that's or, snatched. Or a bun. Or a bun. Or buns. These are so good. They're Sometimes amazing. we double them up. Mm -hmm. Although, it's kind of hard to get them off after. We usually cut them out. Yeah, with some scissors. <laughs> with some scissors. Um, But they stay so well. And mm -hmm. like Kelsey said, they don't like pull your hair out like some scrunchies do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're just so, so good. They last so long, like we said. Because you know scrunchies, like most people, this pack will be gone in like a week. Yeah. These will last so much longer. I use one over and over again. Me too. So these are amazing scrunchies. Okay, so now we're going to move on to makeup products. We don't have too many products to mention. Just our must-have items from the drugstore. So the first thing I'm going to mention is a primer. And it's really hard to find like bomb primers at the drugstore because there's so many good ones that you can get at Sephora. And also like the high-end brands. But this one is like the most popular and it actually does work at the drugstore. This is the NYX Angel Bell Skin Perfecting Primer. And it's oil free so it's really good for oily skin like mine. And I keep hearing that it's a dupe for the Hourglass Mineral Bell. And it kind of is. It's just a little bit more lotion-y. It's less watery. But it goes on really smooth and velvety. I love this. And if you guys are looking for a drugstore primer, I highly recommend. This is like the smaller size. It does come in like a taller size, like a bigger one. So I highly recommend this. And it's really good for pores and it makes your makeup last longer. Okay, so next I'm just going to mention my must-have foundation from the drugstore. This was very hard because I have two that I'm obsessed with. But I'm just going to pick one. This is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This foundation is absolutely amazing. It works just as good as any high-end foundation. It's super matte. It's like... The answer from Jesus himself for us oily girls. Like, this stuff is amazing. Like, I picked this up just as much as I pick up any one of my favorite high-end foundations just because it's that good. It is long-wearing. I have worn this to meetups, and my makeup has lasted all day long, and I have not really gotten that oily. I said that oily. Keep in mind, because Kendra and I, we get oily anyway. But, yeah, definitely our nose always gets shiny like Rudolph. 
So I always pay attention to that because all products, it doesn't matter what it is, I just feel like I always get oily. But I pay attention to what products where I'm the least oily, if that makes sense. And this is definitely one of them. And full coverage. Definitely full coverage. So if you're not a full coverage type girl, you won't really like this because this is like a beat your face type of foundation. And uh, so it's not really a buildable foundation, I think. Because some you can go light and then like more heavy, but mm -hmm. this is just full coverage. And we're in the color 112 Cocoa, which is the darkest shade that they have, but we make it work and it looks pretty good on the face. This foundation is amazing. Love it, love it, love it. And I think the other foundation Kelsey was talking about that she couldn't choose between is this one. Yeah. This is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation, and this is actually my favorite drugstore must have. This is so, so bomb. It does exactly what it says. It's matte and poreless, so it's like a primer and a foundation came together and created magic with this. I'm obsessed with this foundation. It works so well. I did use it in our last Chit Chat Get Ready With Us video. And a lot of you guys were saying that you like the finish of this and how it looked. You need it if you do not have it. This is like the second to the darkest shade. This is the 355 Coconut. And I really love this. The only thing I wish it had was a pump. Or mm -hmm. if it came in like the L'Oreal packaging with like a squeezy tube. But so a pump would be travel. nice for this though. Yeah, it would be nice for that. But this is easier to travel with because it's flat. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it says normal to oily skin, of course, so I highly recommend it. And Maybelline has, like, foundations that cater to all skin types. They have the original Fit Me, they have the dewy one, and they have this one for us oily people. Oh, yeah. So, you can't beat it. Okay, so concealer was super easy for us to pick. Mm -hmm. I talked about this in our Chit Chat Get Ready With Us. This mm -hmm. is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This concealer is absolutely amazing. Yes. It's buildable. You can do a light makeup look with this, and you can go, like, glam with this. Mm -hmm. We're in the color 30 Cafe. This color is never... In the store. store. Ever. No. So when I got it last time, I bought two. This is empty, and I should have got some of you guys. But I think she took the rest I of I took them. the last two. You can have the other one. Thank you. <laughs> but this is so good, and it's really thin. Like, I yes. love how thin and light it feels mm -hmm. on the skin, because mm -hmm. some good concealers that are full coverage feel kind of cakey and heavy under the yeah. eye. Mm -hmm. But this is so bomb. It's so like light. I mm -hmm. love this. It's like airy. Yes. Uh -huh. And it glides on so nicely and it blends out really good uh -huh. too with the beauty blender. This concealer is just amazing. Honestly, I would pick this over some of my high-end concealers uh -huh. to be honest just because I just love how this blends into my skin yes. and it's just so it's just easy. Effortless. It's effortless and easy to work with. Uh -huh. Okay, so my drugstore must-have liquid liner is the NYC liquid liner and I'm sure you guys knew that this was coming because this is the best liquid liner in the drugstore. It's like Super dirt cheap. It's like a dollar. It probably went up since people hyped it up. But it's still super cheap. For the quality of this, this is such a steal. It's super black, super pigmented. The only thing about this, you have to get used to the brush, like the applicator. But it's so good that you make yourself, you know, work with it. It's just so black and like really liquidy and nice. And it's just like that eyeliner that gets your eyeliner. It's like really sharp and flaky and just black. So love this. So mascara was an easy choice for us. We chose the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black. Uh -huh. We've been using this mascara for years. Yes. Love this with or without lashes. It's uh -huh. amazing for bottom lashes because yes. the wand, is, wand so is so freaking skinny. I don't know if you can see this because I can't even see it over yeah. there. But this is super, super skinny. Uh -huh. so easy to work with. And I prefer a plastic wand just because I find that... The other kind, like I love the Maybelline Colossal, like mm -hmm. it's my newer favorite too, but mm -hmm. it's it gets messy yeah, no fast. Kidding. That's probably because it, it needs to get older. I just prefer a plastic yeah. one. I this separates that. the lashes so, so well because yes. of the fine, like, teeth. I don't even know what you call those. Bristles? Bristles, thank you. <laughs> um, it separates them so well that if you put on enough coats, it'll look like a natural false lash yeah so i can make mine look yeah like false lashes i can too i just need a little extra time but mm -hmm. i can do it yeah so this is really nice and the carbon black one is the best because it makes your lashes look more prominent and like mm -hmm. awake and open yeah so love this so last but not least the last makeup items that we're going to mention are lashes it was really hard for us not to pick our dell lashes because those are amazing for the drugstore but the salon perfect lashes have stole our hearts yes and you can only get them at Walmart or uh -huh. order them online. But these lashes are amazing. Our favorites are the 614s and the 615s. Uh -huh. Mine are all gone. I have one. Actually, I have one pair left. This is fresh pack. Can I borrow one pair of them? 
Um, borrow? You can keep them. I mean, keep them. Sorry. <laughs> can I keep a pair, though? Because, like, I mm -hmm. went through my pack so fast. Yes. Like, they go super quick because mm -hmm. I just love these lashes. We stack them sometimes to make them look fuller. Yeah. So, you can do two pair. That's probably why these are going so fast. Yeah, because you stack them. I stack them. They're just so bomb, and they look, like, really hairy and fluffy. I hate those plastic-looking, cheapy-looking lashes. <laughs> I love, like, the hairy ones that look, like, so glam and, like, effortless. And, and I love how soft these look. Mm -hmm. And I like the separation of these i don't like some lashes that are too close together um i like how they make these make my eyes look so these are super nice i always see compliments on these lashes or questions about them so the 614s and 15s are really good mm -hmm. okay so now moving on to body products the first body product that we're going to mention of course is body wash yes. of course and our favorite body wash at the drugstore ever is it's dove. dove like we cannot go the to best. the drugstore and not pick up a dove body wash uh -huh. i like most of their scents i haven't actually picked up the scent from them that i didn't like me neither like all of them the original the sensitive the exfoliating all of every them. kind that they have smells amazing i love the nutrient moisture this yes. one is a nutrient moisture i and think all is... of them are now because it's oh, really? nutrient moisture too well i really like that because they don't dry out your skin because yes. some body washes they clean you especially shower gels but you get out hella ashy and yeah i just i hate feeling like scaly yes so when i get out of the shower with this i still feel kind of moisturized mm -hmm. so that's good and these are the go fresh rejuvenate body washes Mine is says restore, yeah. but all of them say go fresh now, so I think they have like this new like thing where all of them say go fresh because all of their scents are really fresh. Like really good. Oh, this one's so good. Which this one, one is? is the Blue Fig and Orange Blossom. So this one is really citrusy. Uh, <laughs> what? I think I never seen this one. You had this one before. I did? Yeah. That's a shame. I don't even remember. <laughs> the um, one Kendra has though is our new favorite scent. It's so amazing. This found me in Target. Oh, it's a new scent. It says new. It says new. Yeah, mine is here. I love new things. This is the pear and aloe vera scent. Y'all. It smells amazing. I want to buy like 10. Smell it. it comes in a pump, and I think I'm about to pump when I it go do? to Target. This yes. one. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. We'll get one tomorrow. It's so, so good. And like Kelsey said, these are not drying. The Dove mm -hmm. body washes are just so moisturizing, and they're really thick. Mm -hmm. So a little bit goes a long way. Like you can stretch these bottles for months and months. Yes, and they're good for sensitive skin. Yes. Like dermatologists just recommend, it. recommend Dove. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this one smells phenomenal. Like it's the perfect fruity smell. Mm -hmm. And I always like pretty much any pear like body wash smell. Like I just love pear in the shower. I do too. It always, you it can't always go wrong so with the pear scent. I don't yeah. know what it is about pear. And I don't even know if pear is like, great for the skin i don't know the benefits of pear i just know the benefit is that it smells amazing it might just be the same though aloe vera is really good for your skin so yeah. i like that they mix the two it says softer smoother skin after one shower and that is so true dove knows how to do body washes so yes if you guys have not used dove body washes this is the only brand you ever need for the rest of your life Okay, so next, moving on to exfoliator slash body scrub. We only have one to mention, and this I can thank Tree Hut brand. Kendra for this. Yeah, mm -hmm. like she said, Tree Hut brand. And this is the Moroccan Rose scent. Mm -hmm. This stuff smells absolutely amazing, yes. incredible, spectacular. This is the best exfoliator on the market. Mm. And especially if y'all like go on Sephora and look at some of those exfoliators, they're so overpriced. And we've used most of them. I have used a lot of high-end exfoliators, and I will tell you, don't buy those. They're this not worth the money. This works just as good as any of those. This is a Shea Sugar Scrub. And Sugar Scrubs are like the best scrubs because they're more abrasive. And they get all the dead skin off better. Mm -hmm. I don't like those delicate, fancy exfoliators. I might as well just take a shower with it because it's like body wash mixed with like salt. <laughs> I don't like those. Like give me like the gritty, like serious exfoliator. Well, you're going to see a difference. Yes. You get out of the shower. And feel a difference. It's bomb before you shave. The Moroccan Rose smell is the best one so far though because I've tried like almost every scent from that line and this is by far my favorite. Yeah, I forgot the blue like, one. really clean. What was the blue one? I tried that one too. It smelled good but not better than this. Yeah, this one is so, so good. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. And I love that it's pink and I'm pretty much halfway done with this. I and have a lot left. Last time y'all saw this, it was brand new and it ain't no more. Okay, so the last body product we're going to mention is a lotion. We have so many body butters, so many lotions. This by far is one of the best lotions we've ever used. And it's the best in the drugstore. This is the Nivea Essentially Enriched Body Lotion. Mm -hmm. Nourishes and enriches. It contains almond oil and it says noticeably smoother skin. And that is so true. Mm -hmm. I feel like when I put this on, I'm just glowing. Yes. Like it feels good and it looks really, really good. Mm -hmm. Like I hate those lotions. They feel like they're diluted with water. Most of them are. 
back ashy in two minutes <laughs> um but this is the dry to very dry skin one and they have like a light to rich formula and i'm still trying to figure out why they would have a light lotion no nah, i feel like everybody needs a everybody need like a rich lotion like yeah. it's kind of a waste to put on a light lotion they might as well say ashy to moisturize <laughs> Like, I don't understand. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a light to rich. Maybe some people with sensitive skin can't take the rich formula. Everybody can take not being ashy. <laughs> yeah, like not being ashy. I don't get it. Still. Yeah, they, I yeah. still don't get it. But this is the best lotion on the market. I can honestly say this is better than high end lotions, too. Yes. It so, is. highly recommend it. Which we so use good. plenty of. Yes. The reason we know these things is because Kendra and we I are tried all. junkies. We go on Sephora, we try everything. I'm trying to tell y'all, we tried it all. Yes. And don't buy it. Things we haven't mentioned to you guys are usually things that we just don't really like for real, or they're not amazing. Are worth the money. They're not amazing usually. Yeah. Anything that we mention is because it's bomb. Yeah. You know, it changed People our life. Ask us about products all the time, and if I haven't mentioned it, it's probably because it ain't popping. Yeah. Okay, so the last product that we're going to mention is a skincare product, and you guys have heard us talk about this as well. Mm -hmm. This is the Clear Pore Cleanser Slash Mask from Neutrogena uh -huh. and this is a two-in-one but I mostly use it as, as a, mask. a mask yeah I've used it so as a good. cleanser like maybe once or twice have you I haven't used it as a cleanser I mean oh, really? I, if they count rinsing it off <laughs> it's actually a really good cleanser because it's super creamy but as a mask it's really really good yes I love the cooling feeling that this gives on your face it feels like a mint is like on your face yes. I'm obsessed with that feeling with Me masks mm -hmm. and this says the mask side says, use as an intensive mask for a deep cleansing and extra shine control. And this does contain benzoyl peroxide and it's the acne medication. So this is really good if you have a lot of breakouts and your skin is acting crazy. I recently used this the other day and I had like a couple of breakouts and they were tremendously smaller after. This is like $5 magic in a bottle. It is. Like, I'm obsessed with it. This mask from Neutrogena has been around for a long time. I wish it was bigger. And I love it goes a long way though. Yeah, that's true. It spreads yes. so nicely it's on the so, face. so, so good. So, yeah. if you guys have not tried this mask, if you're at Target, wherever you are, if you see this mask, pick it up. Especially if you have, like, acne-prone skin or yeah. oily skin. Oily skin, too. This is really, really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that completes this must-have drugstore products video. We hope you guys enjoyed it, and we hope that it was very helpful to you guys. We're pretty sure that most of you guys already use these brands and these products, but if you do not... Please go check them out next time you're in the drugstore because they are so worth the money. And there's nothing better than affordable products that work like high-end products. Yes. So we highly recommend all these products to you guys. And we'll list all the products in the description box below. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see y'all next time.